Utah is one of the states that fully has banned abortions. And one of their state representatives, Carrie Ann Liz Lissenby, um, took it upon herself to uh, opine about what is and is not in, in a woman's control in terms of her own body. Um, because she received a text message or a, a message to her office saying, hey, why don't you regulate penises? And she had the perfect comeback. Um, take a look. That I clearly don't trust women enough to make choices to control their own body. And my response is, I do trust women enough to control when they allow a man to ejaculate. So inside of them and to control that intake of semen. So that may be inflammatory, but I think as a legislature, we have the responsibility to create a legal framework that is friendly and supporting rights. She has the ability to control her own body. She has the ability to control how her intake of semen. I, I actually missed like the sound didn't work for me at the beginning. So I don't know what you said. What did you say? <laughs> she, that's okay. That It's worth repeating uh, that she said that she does trust women to control their own bodies, specifically control the intake of semen that comes in their way a semen and, intake that sounds like the worst diet of all time worse <laughs> than keto even yeah uh, i mean you just really don't want to hear your, like i can't you know in a just society i can't think of any situation in which an elected official would need to say the word semen none no no not at all and it's you know what it also kind of makes me like it makes me wonder whether conversations back then, especially we talked about sodomy laws, like how were people talking about this and how when, you know, when Roe was passed, were we just like throwing around the word semen and calm and ejaculation? I don't think so. I don't <laughs> think so. No, I don't. I mean, I don't know. There was a really good book by someone named Jenny Brown um, called Without Apology. And mm -hmm. it's, it's published on... Um, I think like under Jacobin's label, if I'm remembering correctly, but um, I don't know, label, it's like records or something. I don't know, Jacobin's company. Sure. But uh, she goes into the history of how abortion was talked about. And, you know, an amazing thing about it is just like for so long, it just like wasn't a big deal. Like even like at the kind of like founding of the United States, it was considered very normal to have, you know, an early term abortion. Yeah. 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 I do want to get back to the question at hand, which is Kate, can you control the semen intake of a part? Can you control your partner's ejaculation? I'll go first. No. Um, especially, um, when there's, you know, a lot of them, there's like, I mean, we could, does she want to talk about pre-cum? Do we, should we get into it? Does she want to really, should we assess that whole situation? But like the idea, like, what are they going to do? Are they going to, I, the other night, I think last night I was like, are they going to just hand out like scoopers? Like, do we, does every woman get like, here you go, Utah women, you just use it to scoop out the semen. That's not the Utah accent, but it should be. Um, well, I think that the, the goal is like, is that nobody has sex except to reproduce. I mean, like, that's very much what I learned as a young Catholic um, and you know, like, I, I think that, you know, sex, sex for pleasure is out. Like, that's part of the reason that Clarence Thomas is, is talking about contraception, that sex for pleasure is a, a privilege for the rich only. And, you know, the rest of us, you know, just have to fuck when we make babies or something like even married couples that so you're not really supposed to be doing that with each other. Which is very funny to put the genie back in the bottle around sex and whether it is for pleasure at a time when like pornography is most of the internet. It's yeah, I mean, it's like, I think that, you know, and I, I can't, I mean, I know that there's these evangelical nutcases or whatever, but I, I mean, I can't imagine like a more unpopular 
political idea. Um, <laughs> people tend to enjoy sex. I mean, they already took our jewel, right? So, you know, it's just like, <laughs> I mean, that sex is a pretty popular one. No, I mean, the, uh, there's only so many young Republicans. Do you know what I mean? There's only so many of them. The problem is they all happen to be like wealthy and they like get far and then are like just funneled into legislation, legislative positions. Um, but yeah, there's only like five young people out of a school of like 500 that you're going to convince this is the right line. You just can't win on that. No jewel and no sex for pleasure because that is where it's headed. But it, but of course, like that's even beyond the pale for me to like, what do you, what? So, so you don't want people to fuck. You just don't want people to fuck. What's going on, Fran Tifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.